Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about enzyme classification. So why enzyme classification is done? So this is done to have a uniformity and clarity in the identification of enzymes. And all the enzymes they are classified into six classes. The first one is oxidoreductases, transferases, hydrolases, lyases, isomerases and the last one is ligases. Coming to oxidoreductases, so name itself indicates these enzymes they are catalyzing the reactions where oxidation reduction of substrate takes place. For example, we can see there is a substrate AH2, this is a reduced substrate and B is the oxidized substrate. So when oxidoreductase catalyzes this reaction, it converts AH2 into A and B to BH2. That means the reduced AH2 is converted into oxidized A and oxidized B is converted into reduced BH2. So this type of reactions we call them as oxidation reduction reactions. So any enzyme which catalyzes such reaction, it is classified under oxidoreductases. So let us consider one example of oxidoreductase. Example is lactate dehydrogenase. This enzyme can interconvert lactate pyruvate. Here we will consider the conversion of lactate into pyruvate. So when this conversion takes place, the hydrogens from the lactate they are taken up by NAD plus and which is converted into NADH. So in this reaction, lactate is converted into pyruvate, that is, the reduced lactate is converted into oxidized pyruvate, and the oxidized coenzyme that is NAD is converted into reduced coenzyme that is NADH. So substrate is oxidized and coenzyme is reduced. So if one is oxidized, the other one is reduced. So such type of reactions as we discussed, we we'll call them as oxidation reduction reactions. Coming to second class of enzymes, transferases. Here also name itself indicates these enzymes are involved in transfer reactions. So the enzymes which catalyze transfer of groups from one substrate to another substrate are called as transferases. In the general reaction here you can see the substrate Ag reacts with substrate B. And when this reaction is catalyzed by transferase, the group from AG is transferred to B so that the products formed are A plus BG. So here the group G is transferred by transferase. Now coming to example of transferases, here you can see glucokinase. This enzyme converts glucose to glucose 6-phosphate. In this reaction, one phosphate is transferred from ATP. So in this reaction, ATP is converted into ADP. So one of the phosphate is transferred to the sixth carbon of glucose. So this is done by glucokinase. This is the example for transferase. Coming to third class of enzymes, that is hydrolases. So enzymes which break the bonds using water. So they introduce the water and using that water, they will break the bond. So that bond may be between two carbons, bond between carbon and oxygen and the bond may be between carbon and nitrogen. So the bonds hydrolyzed by hydrolases are ester, ether, glycosidic and peptide bonds. So here you can see the general example, AB plus water, when they react, it forms AH plus BOH. So in this reaction, when you see in the left side of the reaction, the substrate AB, so there is a bond between A and B, that bond is broken down by the enzyme that is hydrolase and that requires the help of water. So when that happens, AB is converted into AH and B is converted into BOH. Coming to the example, maltase, this enzyme converts maltose into two molecules of glucose. So it breaks the link between two glucose units and converts that into glucose plus glucose. So this is done by introducing a water molecule. Coming to the next class, lyases. So enzymes 
that break the bonds or remove the groups without using water so the basic function of hydrolases and lyases is same that is they are responsible for breaking the bonds but hydrolases will break using water molecule whereas lyases they will break the bonds without the help of water without using water they can break the bonds so that is the major difference between lyases and hydrolases coming to example that is aldolase this enzyme breaks fructose 16 bisphosphate into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and dihydroxy acetone phosphate so here it breaks the fructose 16 bisphosphate into two three carbon compounds but this does not require any water molecule without using water molecule this can break the bonds now coming to class 5 enzymes isomerases so enzymes that catalyze structural changes within a molecule or enzymes involved in isomerization of substrate are called as isomerases for example racemases epimerases they come under isomerases coming to example that is c4 epimerase so here c4 means carbon number 4 glucose and galactose are c4 epimers means basically when you see the number of carbons hydrogens and oxygens in these two sugars they have same number of atoms but the differ in the arrangement at carbon number 4 the orientation of groups at c4 is different so this particular enzyme c4 epimerase can convert glucose to galactose and galactose to glucose so that's why this is called as isomerase because it can interconvert the isomers glucose and galactose and coming to the last class that is ligases so the enzymes that join two substrates together are known as ligases so basically when you see hydrolases and lyases they are responsible for breaking the bonds whereas ligases they are involved in creation of the bonds so in order to join two substrates in order to create a bond they require some energy and that is supplied by the hydrolysis of atp and coming to example of ligases acetyl coa and carbon dioxide these two are joined to form melanoyl coa and that requires the energy supplied by hydrolysis of atp so atp is hydrolyzed to adp and inorganic phosphate enzyme catalyzing this reaction is acetyl coa carboxylase so the carboxylase requires the biotin as coenzyme so this is in brief about the classification of enzymes thank you